able to get the uh, exercise equipment this treadmill weighs a ton it is so heavy and then this is one of those inverter inverted uh, things you stand on your head kind of thing and then we've got the ceiling fans so we got all those from that guy uh, I've got some more stuff that I'm gonna be taking in but we got some struts here so we'll get those on the trailer Ah, uh, let's see. All right, that's a good place for them. We don't have a lot of scrap right now, but what, what we have is really heavy. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. They, uh, when they were taking those out, they cut the springs so they don't have to have the compression tool, I guess, to uh, take those off. Anyway, there's some more stuff up here. We got a lot to do. We got some uh, some dishes. Oh, okay. That's uh, interesting. I haven't had a cleaver show up before in scrap. this and what else and another pot down there oh they were burning something in there huh also unusual. And, ooh, they got a tire. They got th these guys. It's like a curtain rod of some kind. That looks like it's mostly plastic. Okay, that's good. Get that on the tri Well, that's a couple of tripods. I'm sure good for something. I know, my trailer's a mess again. And I just cleaned it out. Oh, gosh. Got a little bit of everything here. Uh, huh. Well, this bag has got uh, some stuff in it, too. Uh, A humidifier looks like oh no it's a Keurig Keurig coffee maker okay maybe someone moving oh that's nice a little bedspread or comforter thing oh some more scrap I don't want to open this bag up too much uh, because it won't be a bag anymore. If we can get this out without making a mess here, it would just swell. Okay. This is uh, really a nice piece here. It's unfortunate that it's uh, being thrown out. I really need a thrift shop or somebody that owns one to uh, help me out with stuff like that. Because it's just a, you know, a shame that stuff like that is 
going into the landfill. I mean, there are people that, you know, it's their hobby. They, they take things like that, they restore them, and they, uh, they put them back into the marketplace, you know. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, looks like they have the, uh, yeah, some kind of piece of exercise gear in there, but it's uh, buried. I'm not gonna, I got plenty of other scrap to kind of hidden, but it's there. Okay, empty boxes, empty boxes over there, but we've got a nice piece of aluminum here. All right, so we'll uh, take these screws out to get that wooden piece off, but that's a nice piece of aluminum. There we go. All right. Just to let you guys know too, I haven't actually arrived in the scrap zone. I'm on my way to the scrap zone, but this is uh, still in my own neighborhood. I haven't gotten very far. Uh, oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I'm just picking up the stuff as I go. And so far, it's been pretty good. Can hardly wait to the scrap zone. I'll probably get a lot more stuff there. Just wow, look at that. <laughs> so it looks like a lot of people are doing some serious spring cleaning. And uh, that translates into a lot of scrap for me. Let's get this taken apart here. Take that and this and whatever this is. Lamp, okay. Some wire, some. Uh, Uh, there's some kind of table. Oh, we'll try to get that free in a minute. We got this. Ah, Christmas tree. And a playpen. Oh no, the dog. Like, uh, oh, another lamp. And this and the lighted Christmas tree. Okay, things are going well. Grab here. <clears throat> Bed rails. And it looks like some exercise equipment too.
Oh, we gotta get that. Uh, yeah, this will work here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, not very good loading technique this time. Well, the, uh, I'll just have to strap this stuff down. Okay, what do we have here? I don't think we need this part, but this part is awesome and heavy. Gloves are good, but they only protect you so much. A few, another set of bed rails, and you know what? This is this has got a heavy steel frame on it. I'm gonna take it to. And this, okay. Uh, I can, uh, I can just throw another one on there, but we're still on the slow streets here. Two filing cabinets and not terribly heavy. I think I can get them on. Uh, we'll have to sling those over onto the trailer and then tie them down with straps, but uh, we'll get those in right now and see how it works. The first one, the white one, was not too heavy, but that second one was probably an older one when they made them out of heavy gauge steel. But they're on, and you know what? We didn't even make it to the scrap zone, and uh, I think it's time to go to the scrap yard. Let's go. So I am on my way to the scrap yard, taking the scrapper's scenic route, and I find this. But there's no place on the trailer for it. I mean, there's none. It's got wheels, so I'm thinking this thing is really heavy, and it is. So I'm going to grab a few pieces off of it that are just lying here on top and get those on the trailer. After I'm done with the scrap yard, I'll come back and pick this thing up. That's a huge, huge, huge piece of scrap though. We're to the scrap yard. Uh, we're going to get this unloaded. They're loading the big trucks over there. Uh, we're going to have to... Uh, unload from the tailgate here. Ah, the big stuff. Alright, I'll bring you back when I'm ready for that. Time to get unloaded here. We'll start with this big boy. Just lay it on its side, maybe, and uh, push it over there on its back, maybe. That's a lot of Legos there. Oh. One down, a whole bunch more to go. I didn't get to see the scale as I came in. Uh, 
the big trucks that come in to pick up the the scrap from the scrap yard were blocking the scale so I hope this is a good load it felt like uh, quite a bit of load on the trailer but uh, I won't find out until we check out Oh, that was satisfying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Very, very satisfying crunch. I'm going to have to offload some of this stuff because I'm going to, I'm going to keep this. This is better than what I've got. <laughs> uh, Then I can scrap the one I have. It's full circle, right? I found these uh, clothes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash them and take those either to one of the charities that I give to. They're nice clothes. This is definitely a day of uh, exercise equipment. I need exercise, but unfortunately, not a whole lot of time for uh, that kind of exercising. It's a waffle iron cooker thinger. This is actually a pretty good load. I'm I'm happy with it. <sighs> it will definitely uh, contribute to my bottom line. Oh yeah, and these. <sighs> Get this other uh, filing cabinet off. Lively group out here today. Quite a few people uh, unloading. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I already got a lamp just like that. Except I think I've got a newer version. How many volts is this? Output one amp, not what I need.
In the past, I've removed the uh, motors from the uh, big uh, treadmills like this, but not today. Not for this one, anyway. I've already got a couple of motors, so. Some pretty clean scrap today, really. I wonder if the uh, small scale will be busy and I need to get rid of some of this small scale stuff. <clears throat> put this up here so that I, I'm sure that's got to have some value above the scrap value. And this is a flagpole, but Ah, it's, it's pretty big. I've looked at those online before, but I don't, I'm not ready for it. And I'm gonna unload this, this all thread next time I'm at the uh, house. I don't have time for that. Get this guy off. I was just watching a show yesterday and uh, <laughs> they had one of these hanging upside down contraptions. You don't want to get stuck in one of those, that's for sure. There's a, another piece I need to get. How did that get in there? Oh, okay, I see.
couple more pieces there and we'll be done. We'll get over to the small scale and is that that's aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum, steel, stainless steel. Only got one piece though. Let's see, can I make it? Oh yeah, nice. You know what? I've got some shells like this already at the house. I'm gonna keep those. And then we got this. We got that little Christmas tree. It's a never-ending struggle to keep the trailer empty. Oh. I get that from the other side. Okay, we'll head over to the checkout and then we'll go over to the small scale, see what we get there. Colleen, I saw what you did with that guy ahead of me. You were checking his gutters to see if they were aluminum or steel. That's so kind of you. No, it's bad. It's so kind of me. It's so kind. They were yeah, steel, though. <laughs> yeah, because, see, that happened to me last week. Hey, you gave me a star note yesterday. God dang it. You did. You gave me a $20 bill, oh, and it was a star note. Oh, my God. I'm going to do a video on it. I'm going to put your name on there, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, watch, watch my video. I'm gonna put it out, and it'll be the one with the star note. It's not like you don't know what they are now. No, I know. <laughs> I have no doubt, and believe me, I checked the money, but when I get busy, I feel like I can't look at them. Before. I know your mind was somewhere else yesterday. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. And you know what, Sam? Not many people know that side of me. You've got to look at my niceness and my vulnerable feminine side. Well, I know. Anyway, I'll see you later. Sam, have a good day. I will, thank you. A really good load. 980 pounds, or 960 pounds, yep. And uh, $76.80, that is pretty much a 100% load on my trailer so I can't be too unhappy with that at all I'm gonna go by the house and uh, unload some of the stuff that I don't want to uh, have on the trailer right now the stuff that's not scrap and not gonna be put in uh, in the scrap yard you know it's just taking up some space and weight anyway uh, I will do that and I will get on to my next load Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate you subscribing, liking, and sharing. I will see you on the next one. Scrapper Sam.